time you were going to get up. You're always up before us. I didn't sleep all night. Oh, headache or fun? Headache. I just need to catch up on some sleep. Well, if you wouldn't sleep with your cat. He makes me happy. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, say that now. Wait until mom burns the rolls. <laughs> Does anyone have some death? I'm gonna go home. Socio could catch him. He's at work, so he won't be home till late. Hmm. If you can catch one, you can keep it. <laughs> Besides, you'll be the only girl I get to talk to soon, so it'd be nice to have some more company. Only girl? Annabelle and Ben are getting adopted tomorrow, so we're gonna have a special dinner for them tonight. You don't mind helping, do you? No, not at all. Anything special on the menu? Uh, they asked for pasta. <laughs> I'm thinking spaghetti, but I'm a little nervous. I remember the tortellini tantrum of 2012. Oh, <laughs> the walls were stained red, and if you scratch them, they still smell like garlic. And you swore you would never babysit them again. I guess I don't have to worry about that now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go get a glass of water or something, maybe lie down. I'm just starting to get another headache. Brown! <laughs> That's gonna have to be the first one. coming in, come on. Let's go. should give us a solid half hour to cook in peace. I'm gonna miss them. I think. You think? Annabelle's the closest thing I've ever had to a sister. I know, dear. They love you so much. How about this? After dinner, we can watch some movies in my room. Wait, really? <laughs> we only do that on special occasions. I'll start the popcorn after we finish dinner. Sounds like a plan. Five bucks. I do not. I don't gamble with my children. Does that mean you gamble without us? Em, <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> um, you okay? Um, yeah, I just have a headache. I'm looking for some ibuprofen. Um.
Emily, I know you're not. Uh, oh! You've got a choice to make. What are you talking about? What are you doing? One of these doors leads to your imagination. The other, reality. Once you choose, you'll have to stay there forever. I don't understand. It wasn't like that before. Your 15th birthday is a special one. Wait. You. We've all been trying to tell you. These are the people you deem most important in your life. Once you choose a door, half of them will disappear forever. But I can't just choose. I can't just snap out of it just by thinking about it. It happened to me on my 15th birthday, except I didn't choose. I decided to stay here, in this room. Then how are you in my life? Wouldn't you be dead or something? I wouldn't know. I'm in your other one too. Exactly. Let's make a deal. I'll let you see each world, reality and fiction, one more time before you choose. It won't matter anyway. I still don't understand why I have to choose. You have two minutes. Ms. Gora? Oh, thank goodness. You look so much better already. <laughs> What's that? Just an old photo I was looking at before you woke up. Why can't I see it? Seeing as the kids are gone, I'd like to tell you something. Bad? No. I just was worried you were gonna get mad. Mad? Why would I get mad? A lot of reasons, actually. And you'd have every right to be. I'd like you to know, I've tried to tell you this many, many times before, but your headaches always interrupted our conversations. You didn't understand when I first tried to tell you. I still don't understand. You have a dissociative disorder. It means you go into your mind more often than is normal because of a trauma you experienced when you were young. I don't know how to say this without it sounding fake. I... Just say it. I'm your mother. That's what this photo is. I have to keep proving that you're my daughter. Why, why didn't you tell me before? I have. I keep trying to tell you, but... You don't remember because of your illness. I was hoping that now you're turning 15, it would stick. I don't think I understand. I, I would know if you were my mother. You've never, you've never told me before, you're, you're lying! Emily, I'm so sorry. And I know that sorry's not enough. You're right. Sorry's not enough. Emily, please! Open the door. Emily! Sure, I can't find him. No, I haven't. Can you keep a lookout for him? He took off yesterday after you passed out. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. What's it going to be? Can I have like a couple seconds? It's not like my head's killing me. Sosia wasn't at the orphanage, or the house.
wasn't mentioned until mom said something. You're not real! Got that right, time to go! Your future is doomed. Your past is broken. <laughs>